Hi guys and welcome back to another Premier League prediction video. Last weekend we got one score correct, Chelsea beating Leicester 2-1. And we were so so close on Man City's comeback, I went for Man City to win it 3-2, Haaland had to go and get his hat-trick and make it 4-2, but it was a close one. Make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another Premier League prediction video. In the description, I will leave a list of the fixtures. If you just copy and paste them into the comments, fill in your scores, and we'll see how you get on. Let's get in to my predictions. And first, Palace take on Brentford. Now Palace, to me, have had a good start, but it is one win, one draw, two losses. However, opening day, lost to Arsenal, didn't look great. Drew against Liverpool, could have won it, good result. Beat Villa 3-1, good result. And then lost 4-2 against Man City, but they did go 2-0 up. Could have been 3, but, you know, some something happened. Edison maybe got away with one a bit. And in the end, Man City, you know what they do. They always look possible of getting into any game, and they did just that. But Palace, for me, have had a good start and look like they're going to be a solid side. Brentford, they drew opening day against Leicester, 2 all, came back from 2 0 down. So a good, good result there. Then beat Man United 4 0. Great result, but it is their only victory of the season, and it was a pretty freakish game. Went and lost 3-2 against Fulham, and then drew one all against Everton. For me, I think Palace have the quality here. However, Brentford have scored in every game they've played, so I am going to say they will score again, but Palace to win 2-1. Fulham take on Brighton next. And after Fulham's unbeaten start, they did finally lose a game, 2-1 against Arsenal. Brighton, they started the season so, so well. Three wins in a draw, they've beaten Man United, West Ham, and then Leeds, who are also unbeaten. And they drew against Newcastle, so it's not like they've had easy fixtures either. They've been a pretty tough set of fixtures, and they've came out with 10 points from four games. Very good start from Brighton. Now here, I don't know what to expect because Fulham and Mitrovic seem to be full of surprises so far. Brighton, can I see them scoring more than one goal? I'm not sure. So I'm actually going to go down the middle here. Might be a bit of a surprise, but one all. Southampton versus Chelsea now. And Southampton... They went and picked up their first victory, 2-1 over Leicester, but then lost 1-0 to Man United. Chelsea lost 3-0 to Leeds, and then bounced back with a 2-1 victory over Leicester. Interesting, this game, but I just think Chelsea have the quality, and I see them getting all three points here, 1-0. Leeds up against Everton here, and Leeds... They picked up their first loss of the season, 1-0 against Brighton, but they had scored seven goals in their first three games, started very well, you know, a 3-0 victory over Chelsea. I don't think it's too much to be frustrated with because Brighton are a very, very good side. Leeds are playing Everton, who haven't yet picked up their first win, drawn their last two games against Nottingham Forest and Brentford, both won all. I think Leeds are going to win this quite comfortably, especially with Everton being the away side. So Leeds to win 3-1. Bournemouth take on Wolves. And can Bournemouth, you know, get a break? They did win their first game 2-0 against Villa. But since then, they've lost 3-0 against Arsenal, 4-0 against Man City, and last weekend, 9-0 against Liverpool. They need a break. You know, they've conceded 16 goals in three games. They've been absolutely battered. 
And this is a bit of a chance now for them, you know, a similar sort of opponent to Villa, not just because of geographical location, but, you know, a similar sort of side, I guess. Not one of the big teams that's going to batter you anyway. But can they pick something up here? Because they need to get points quickly. Saying that, Wolves are on less points than them, as they're still waiting for their first victory of the season. Two draws, two losses, and in their last fixture, drew one all against Newcastle. Now, Wolves are a side that I do not see scoring a lot of goals, but they are quite good defensively. They have been over the last few seasons anyway, and I see them keeping a clean sheet here in a 1-0 win. Mm-hmm. Arsenal up against Villa now. And Arsenal, a very good start, the only side with a 100% record still. And that came after a comeback against Fulham, won it 2-1, good result. They are quite fun to watch as well. I, I am enjoying Arsenal this season so far. Can they keep it up here? Against the Villa side that have struggled at the start of this season. One win, three losses out of their four games. And they've played Bournemouth, Palace, West Ham and Everton. Only beating Everton, losing to the other three. Considering the fixture list that they've been given at the start of the season, you'd expect a bit more from them. They have disappointed. You know, they lost 1-0 to West Ham at the weekend. That was West Ham's first goal this season. So West Ham aren't doing great at all. But Villa are struggling and... I'm a little bit worried that if Gerard continues like this, he won't be in this job by Christmas. For this one, I see nothing but an Arsenal, you know, comfortable win. So, Arsenal to win it, clean sheet, 3-0. Man City take on Forest next. And Man City, they survived a scare against Palace. They were 2-0 down. But won it 4-2, Haaland got a hat-trick, and they've been very, very entertaining this season. Three wins and a draw, and I don't see them losing this one. They're up against the Forest side, that have started okay, but they did lose their last one 2-0 against Spurs. Now, if Forest were at home, I might be tempted to say the atmosphere will be great, they might be able to get the first goal and see if they can hold on, but it's at the Etihad. And I think City are going to win this comfortably, 2-0. West Ham up against Spurs here. And West Ham picked up their first, you know, point slash points of the season at the weekend. A 1-0 win over Villa. And that came after losing their first three games and not scoring a single goal. Can West Ham start to push on here? I'm not sure because they're up against a Spurs side that like Man City, won three, drew one, started very well, won two nil away against Forest, which is a, a you know a good result. Because Forest I think are gonna take a few points at home this season and they're gonna rely on their home form. Very, very good points there, and they've had a good start to the season under Conte. For me, I think Spurs will win this. Whether West Ham can start scoring and make things difficult, I'm not sure. But I'm going to go Spurs to win it 2-1. Liverpool up against Newcastle here. Liverpool, poor start, you know, three games in, only two points. And then they go and get their first win of the season with an emphatic 9-0 victory over Bournemouth. In a game where Salah was playing, didn't get a goal contribution. Pretty crazy. Are they going to start to kick into gear? Are Bournemouth just very, very poor? God knows, but they were brilliant in that game. And I think they are going to kick into a gear, but they could have been given an easier fixture afterwards because they could get caught out. Newcastle, unbeaten. One win, three draws. They do need to start winning a few more of these games. But a one-off draw against Wolves, decent result. 
And part of me is thinking they could get another draw here. They drew against Man City the other week and were brilliant. St. Maximin was brilliant. Wilson, you know, they were so good in attack. I do believe that Wilson and St. Maximin could miss this game though. So if they're not there, I think Liverpool win it. But I'm going to go for a draw. Do I go for a really entertaining one? Yeah, because Liverpool keep playing a very high line. And if Sam Maximum plays, he gets in this, this back line very comfortably. I think he will be all over Alexander-Arnold. So for me, it, it's going to be a draw. Probably won't, because I said a draw for Liverpool against Bournemouth last week, and they won it 9-0. But I'm going to go a draw again, 2 all. And finally, Leicester take on Man United. Now Leicester, they haven't had a good start. They're bottom of the league, one point. A one of only three teams to not yet win a game. They're struggling. However, they have actually scored in every game they've played. They just can't keep the ball out of the back of the net. They're up against a Man United side that... You know, followed up after a brilliant 2-1 win over Liverpool with a 1-0 win over Southampton. And since they've dropped Maguire and Ronaldo, they seem to be a lot stronger defensively and in attack, really. So, for me, I think Man United will win this one. However, Leicester are a threat at the, at the, the attacking end of the pitch, but they're also a threat to themselves at the defensive end by the looks of it. So I'm going to go Man United to win it 2-1. So, those are my predictions for these Premier League fixtures. Let me know what you think down in the comments by using the fixture list in the description. Make sure that you hit the like button below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another Premier League prediction video.